What's up everyone, it's Hector here with another Wrestling Championship Belt Replica Review. But in this video, I want to talk more about the, the belts themselves and the actual plates. Because I've already reviewed the Big Golds several times. Uh, the Fandu Big Gold, when I did review it, it was on the plain black strap like the WCW World Heavyweight Championship was on. Um, but then shortly after the belt came to the WWE, they put it on this tooled strap. And then years later, they put it on this red croc packing. And then it was pretty much that style until it got reunified with the WWE Championship. And then it became the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So this is the FanDu Big Gold World Heavyweight Championship. And this is the official WWE World Heavyweight Championship from the Figures Toy Company. And the 4mm version, which is a lot harder to come by. Alright, when you look at them right next to each other, you can see that it's not the same shape. And when I looked at that Fandu tooling, I was like, it looks too square or something. I don't know what was with it. It just didn't look right. But then when you look at it right next to each other, you can see the official one kind of goes shallow towards the snap box. And then there's tooling all around the edges up until you reach that snap box. With on this one, it's just around the plates. And then the official Fandu belt has that Fandu belt stamp at the end of the belt. Even when you take off the plates, it'll say Fandu belt on the back side of the plates. And then the snap box just has this kind of almost like a stone-like tooling. But when you look at the WWE Championship tooling, it looks more like that kind of leather style tooling that you've seen on many figures Toy Co. belts. It looks like they just kind of sewed this on top of it. It's not one solid piece like the WWE Championship, WWE Shop championship replicas are now and then when you look at the red croc backing on the figures toyco version it's kind of like a light red almost like a almost a pink red but then when you look at the fan do croc backing it's like a crimson red which i like a lot more than the wwe shop or figures toyco wwe world heavyweight championship So compared to the regular black strap, I kind of like the tooled red croc strap better than the plain black strap for the big gold from Fandu. But when it's the official WWE World Heavyweight Championship big gold, I think I just like the regular black strap. Even the plain black tooled strap. I don't know, just with this red croc, it, it just doesn't look, look right. It doesn't look good. But the Fandu red croc... Uh, not too bad. But one other side note that I found kind of interesting. You can buy a wall mount for the Fandu belts. But it has this red croc backing on the wall mount. And the snaps are spaced so it can only fit the plain black strap. The spacing on the snaps aren't the right spacing for the tooled strap. I tried to put it on but it just wouldn't fit. It's too far apart. So I don't know, that was just kind of a weird design choice. But when you compare the Fandu belts, I really like the tool belt better than the plain black strap. And uh, the plates are spaced a lot better on the tooled strap so they don't just clank on each other like the plain black strap. They can still hit on each other, but it's just not to the same degree as the plain black strap. But that's pretty much it. For the Fandu Big Gold Tooled Strap on the Red Croc backing compared with the plain black strap. And of course these are both the faux leather, F-A-U-X, it's pronounced faux in case you didn't know. Um, you can also get the, I don't know how real of a leather it is, but they do have actual leather belts that are quite a bit more expensive. But I've heard from some of the other belt collectors that the Fandu leather just isn't that good a quality, especially the stitching and everything when, when compared to people who just read leather on the side. So if you want to get an actual good leather quality belt for your Fandu Big Gold, you'd probably be better off contacting somebody who does leathering services on the side. But at the same time, it'll probably cost more than just buying a real leather strap from the Fandu shop. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. 
Hope you appreciated this video or liked it or whatnot. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. And you can subscribe to my channel for more championship belt replica reviews and other collectible reviews and good stuff like that. You can also leave a comment telling me what you think about the Fandu Big Gold belts. If you like the tooled belt or the plain black strap better, which one do you like? Do you like the red croc backing on the tooled strap or do you want it just to be plain black on the tooled strap? Just tell me what you think. So leave a comment below, thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see y'all later. And as always, keep on collecting.